Welcome to the chapter Electrical Conductivity of Liquids. Now, let us make a cell with the same metals and chemicals used by Volta by performing an activity. Click each tab to know more. Place two injection bottles, two rubber caps, metal strips, copper and zinc, diluted sulfuric acid, H2SO4 bottle, LED and connecting wires on the experiment table. Note, zinc metal strip is obtained from the dry cell and copper strip is available from the copper wires used in the home. Make sure that the dimensions of strip should be 2 mm wide and 5 cm long. Take one copper strip and one zinc strip. Insert them in one rubber cap vertically. Once again, take one copper and one zinc strip. Insert them in another rubber cap vertically. Note, the two metal strips in both the caps should not touch each other. Pour the dilute sulfuric acid in both the injection bottles. Fix the rubber caps with metal strips to the injection bottles. Take a wire and connect zinc strip of one bottle to copper strip of the other bottle. Now take an LED. Connect the short pin of LED to copper strip in one bottle with a wire. Connect the long pin of LED to zinc strip in another bottle with a wire. Now LED does not glow. Then reverse the LED connections and observe the changes. We observe that LED does not glow in the first connection, but when the connections are reversed, LED glows. Also, we observed that bubbles forming on the copper rod because the zinc dissolved in the sulfuric acid. We have learned that small electric current is produced in the above electrolytic cell. The zinc dissolves in the sulfuric acid and accumulates on the copper.